All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a basic setup on WordPress to do programmatic SEO. So for the purpose of doing this, all you're going to need is the WordPress website that you want to implement this on and a Google spreadsheet and maybe chat GPT. And I'll show you how you can use chat GPT for this. So basically, I'm going to cover how to set this up technically on the most basic level. So how to get the information in the Google sheet, how to take that Google sheet information and upload it to WordPress with the plugin and then how how to use that plugin to make the pages you would want to get more advanced with this and make page templates etc which i'm not going to necessarily cover in this video but i might do in the future however this will at least get you set up so that you can get that information on your site and make the pages and then from there you can do whatever you want with them so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up a google sheet or an excel file it doesn't matter you can do either one and you want to make these headings at the top so page title url slug meta title meta description content and image you don't have to have an image if you don't want to include images on your page, but you can if you want. So these are the basic ones. You can obviously get a lot more advanced with this, but again, for the purpose of this video, it's just going to be a very basic overview to show you how this works. So what you do is let's say, for instance, you want to make a bunch of pages for something. I'm going to use, let's say my own website as an example. Let's say I want to make a bunch of pages SEO for X number of different industries, right? So what you could do is go to chat GPT and go list me the 15 most popular home service niches. Now you'd probably have whatever it is that you want already, but let's say for instance, you're writing about different recipes or whatever the case is, calories, etc. You would have that list or you can get the list however you want to do it. Chat GPT to spit out the list of services. So what I would do now is just go add SEO4 for each of these. So let's say now that I was just going to use this list. Now, obviously, again, this is not optimized for SEO. I'm just giving you an example of all the different pages. So now I've got 15 different pages I want to make. I'm going to take that. I'm going to put that into the page title. Let's say I wanted that to be the page title. Let's say we have the page title. So these are going to be the page titles. Now we want the URL slug. So what we want to do is go back to chat GPT and go and try and make the URL slug. So you don't have to do this with chat GPT. I'm just giving you an example of how you can put this together really quickly. Because imagine you're dealing with like hundreds of pages. You want to do this kind of fast. So you could take that now paste this into the sheet obviously make sure they're in the same order all right so now we've got that and let's say we want the meta title to be the same as well i'm just going to copy that over and the meta description can be all right and you can see how it's now spitting out all of these for us i'm just going to copy those Okay, now you'd want to write the content for these pages. So this obviously is going to take more time. You would have to put something together for this. So I'm just going to put in here. So we'll let this write for a second and then I'll just copy it all. Go copy, paste. All right, so now I have pasted all 15 pieces of content in here, as you can see. I'm not going to put image on this particular one. I'm just going to ignore that for the purpose of this video, but you could put a URL of an image. If you wanted to do that, you would go to your website and you would upload it to media, and then you would paste the URL of the image here so that it could pull that. Now, we've got the real basic stuff of our page. So basically now what we'd want to do is we'd want to go to WordPress and you want to go on and go to plugins and you want to install a plugin. So there's a number of different plugins you can use, but the the easiest one to do it is WP all import. You want to go to this one here and you want to hit install and then hit activate. And so what's going to happen now is that this plugin is going to allow us to import this CSV file. So what you want to do is you want to take this, you want to save this as a CSV file. And then you want to go here and you want to go upload file and you want to upload the file that you just made. And now what you're going to be able to do is select what kind of item you want all these to be. So for instance, you can, they can be posts, they can be pages, they can be various other things. Usually you would just select either posts or pages. So if they're blog posts, you do posts. If they're pages, you would do pages and just go with new items typically, unless you've got existing items you want to update and you go continue to step two and just for the purpose of this video i'm going to show you that i don't have anything in pages you can see it's completely empty so now what happens is it's going to show you what data it's going to pull in so you can see that we have our url we've got the page title the meta title the description and the content for the page so it gives you some options here with the free version you have very limited options what you can do with the paid version you can do a lot more but basically you can see here like what it's pulling in so you can just double check that all your data is good and then once that's done you can go next and so now what you want to do here is you want to take the page title you want to put it there you want to take the content you want to place it there if you've got any images obviously it doesn't give you a lot of options for images on the free one on the paid one it does you can also select whether you want it published draft when you want it published comments so on you've got the slug here so you want to put the url slug in here but you want to also go through them and just see what other options it will give you you also definitely want to go into the other page options and do 
the SEO and set the meta description and you can set your page titles as well. Do that there. Sorry, the meta title is the one you'd want to go here. You can see that. And then once that is all done, you can hit preview and it's going to show you what the page will look like. So you can see there. So those look good. So I'm going to close that and now I can hit next. Now you just hit auto detect here and it'll just deal with it itself. You can select here if you want to create new pages and what you want to do with the existing pages. So I'm just going to keep it on update. There is no existing pages, but that's fine. And then you want to hit continue. So now it's just going to confirm that you want to run this and import everything. I'll say yes, hit the button. It's going to run it. This shouldn't take too long for 15 as you can see, but if you've got hundreds, it might take a bit longer. So it's pulled it all up. And now if we go back to pages and hit refresh, what's going to happen is we're now going to have 15 pages on the site, as you can see here. And if we open one of these pages, it should just be a basic page with a meta title and the description. Now, I don't know why it's done that. Okay, it's just loaded. That's the H1 headline. That's the content that we put in here. If I pull this down, you can see here, you got the SEO headline or the meta title, and that's in there as well. SEO for appliance repair and installation. So it's pulled all the data. So you can see here now how you could literally make hundreds of pages of this. Now, what you would probably want to do is make some sort of template, which I'll probably cover in another video. There's ways to do it with Elementor Pro and things like that. We can actually make the template. You can put the dynamic tags and it will pull the dynamic tags from the sheet, etc. That's a little bit more complex than what I'm going to cover in this video. But if you just want to make a basic website with lots of content on here, this is how you can do this. So you can see here, we now have 15 pages. And if we had put more in-depth content on the sheet initially than just this we could have you know full articles on all these pages that are 15 pages and they could have been hundreds of them so that is the very basics of how you set this up on wordpress so that you can pull in all these pages through programmatic seo that's basically what this is like i said there's obviously a lot more to cover in this topic but hopefully this was helpful so that you understand the basics of how to set it up you could obviously play around with this and get this to do a lot more than what i've shown you in this video so i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you have any questions put them in the comments below and I will actually answer them. Otherwise, if you want me to coach you on how to do SEO or Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the SEO or Google ads for your business, go to dominatemarketing.io and book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.